Seattle City Light just announced their first curbside charging station is up and running. It's part of a citywide effort to reduce transportation emissions and bring EV charging to city streets. King 5's Angelique Cockaday is live in Seattle. Angelique, you first introduced us to the program last summer, and now you spoke with the person who requested the station. How is it going so far? Well, Shantae, he says it's a total game changer. Now, he's one of 1,800 people who requested one of these stations here. Seattle City Light then worked to narrow all those requests down to 31 locations. The first one is up and running here in the Portage Bay neighborhood. You can see uh, each charger comes with, each station comes with two chargers, and the parking signs here are already up. Now, take a look at your screen for an idea of where the other 30 sites are going to be. I'm told there's enough for each seven districts in Seattle to get at least four. Now, for the decision on the locations was based on need. Factors like access to a garage, proximity to retail and parks, and of course, if it was feasible to even construct. Seattle City Light worked with SDOT to stay out of bus lanes, for example. So Mark Long actually lives in a floating home community a few blocks from here, and curbside charging is something he's been wanting for years, usually charging up at a grocery store or parking lot where oftentimes they're broken or in use. He says while he's thankful to have the new chargers up and running, he hoped it's only the beginning. How do we use our limited assets and resources here to facilitate something that we know is coming? And we have 19 homes and probably close to 25 or 30 cars. <laughs> and so, um, so this is going to be a big deal five or 10 years from now. Now, data from the state shows there are 64,000 EVs in King County. So that's a big part of what happens next, figuring out who is using these chargers, when, and is there a need for more. Now, coming up in the next hour, hear from program officials and how they're getting these charging stations throughout the city. And also coming up in the next hour, where they're going to be and when they can expect to be completed. But for now, reporting here in Seattle, Angelique Cockaday, King 5 News.